Thank you, Herr Vorsitzender. As you all know, tomorrow we will vote on the resolution on the digital agenda. And first of all, I of course want to thank all my colleagues in the industry committee for a tremendous cooperation. And I also want to thank the Commissioner for the cooperation, both up to the voting on tomorrow's resolution and the presentation of the telecom package tomorrow. I'm glad that we share the same goals and values and that Commissioner Cruz dares to be ambitious. I want to acknowledge you for that, Madam Commissioner. I'm happy to tell you that today you are confronted with a European Parliament which is unanimous. For the first time we made a resolution that went through the committee, the industry committee, with a single vote and all parties are on board. That means that you have the best support you can ever get to your telecom package being presented tomorrow. And we expect you to use this support when going to the summit in October and in the forthcoming negotiations with our member states. It is a crucial moment for Europe because we need a European internal market and we need it urgently. It is impossible to explain European citizens that we have an internal market in which, we, uh, in which noise of lawn movers is regulated, that we have rules on what a banana should look like, and that we are all so happy for the internal market on almost everything, but that at the same time we are not able to find a solution to create a genuine European internal market for tailored communications. We have 500 million consumers in Europe of which more and more own a smartphone or a tablet, which they often have to switch off when they travel abroad to avoid high roaming fees. The last two decades we have lost ground. The world envied Europe as we pioneered the global mobile industry in the early 1990s but today our industry can barely sell to a continent lacking in 4G and consumers miss out on the latest technological and device improvements. I'm happy to tell that in the resolution being voted tomorrow, the European Parliament declares that this situation has to stop. We want to put an end to this fragmented market which is not fit for global competition, only a telecom single market will allow the whole digital ecosystem to recapture a leading global role. So we urge the Council to be more ambitious and to step over its own shadow and help the Commission and in particularly Commissioner Nelly Cruz. Her proposals will get us rid of red tape, will make it easier to invest in networks, will foster competition by breaking up the 28 telecom markets and will allow telecom operators to offer their services in the whole European Union. These proposals from the Commission and our resolution from the Parliament will form the most ambitious package in years and it will help us build a connected, competitive continent with sustainable digital jobs and industries. It will make life better by ensuring consumers to enjoy the digital devices, services they love. And last but not least, it will make it easier for businesses and, and uh, entrepreneurs to create the jobs for the future. I call on the Council, the Commission, and of course my colleagues here in the European Parliament. Let's work together to make these ambitions a reality. Thank you, Chair.